Well, art speaks to people in very different ways than our traditional ways of reaching the public. Art can be a really interesting way to communicate with folks in a non-didactic way, in a more emotional way, in a more intuitive way. Art and music have always been an excellent way to convey information to people, especially between cultures or between people of different languages. Where the, the spoken word may not be understood, pictures pretty much always are. I can't begin to tell you how impressed and excited I am about the exhibit that we have here. Almost two years ago, we got approached by Georgia Pacific Professional about doing a project with us about hand washing and doing an exhibit here at the museum. And as we look at Georgia Pacific Professional business, our mission is to provide wellness solutions with personal and workspace hygiene and cleaning. And through conversations we had with the CDC, the idea was born to say, what could we do together uh, to sponsor something that would be meaningful for the message of CDC and meaningful for the message of Georgia Pacific Professional. The partnership between the David J. Sensor CDC Museum and Georgia Pacific Professional has really underscored the commitment of GP to public health efforts and getting into communications. When you're going to go out and, and approach six different artists and ask them to create their vision as to how to express that wellness message, I had no idea as to the variety of the uh, media that would be used, the variety of interpretation. Their creativity just amazed me. CDC provided me with a document that shows the 12 steps of hand washing as recommended by the World Health Organization. And that was really one of my starting points for this exhibit. And I think some of the simple daily acts that we all go through, like hand washing and washing our bodies, becomes a metaphor for that kind of personal emotional renewal. I'm interested in the visual language of coloring books. It's our first experience as visual creators. Everyone sort of has used a coloring book. You see it across the room and it's just a nice striking image. And then as you approach it, you see the little colorful bubbles of things and you're like, oh, what? so what is this? And hopefully when you start reading this piece, the whole thing kind of explodes in your mind. Like, oh my God, you can actually get E. coli this way or salmonella. Since there's not a formula to any individual painting or how they all come together, it's both the, the most rewarding, also the most frustrating part about working because what I imagine is going to happen very rarely happens, but then I get surprised with things that I never expected, which is really the, the great part. I'm hoping that all the viewers who come to see the show take away a sense of playful joy and that with that playful joy that you can do something good for yourself, which is take care of your health through washing your hands. Are you ready to dry off your hands? Dry them good. No more germs. The uh, creativity is, is delightful and it's just a nice way to ponder an everyday important task. The scans over in the corner where you can actually see the videos when you bring it up on your smartphone was great. It's a wonderful promotion of hand hygiene and hand washing. I really enjoyed some of the mixed media elements. The artist said it should bring out emotions in you and it actually did. More memories, you know, evoking different times in your life, mostly childhood, I guess. The little pictures of germs and things on the wall. Um, I was surprised at my feeling about that. I actually gave it a wide berth. 
Um, <laughs> when, I, when I noticed that they were germs, I stepped back and actually went down the steps this way. What do we have to do? Dry your hands off. Dry them off with a paper towel and get all the water off, right? Because if yes. your hands are still wet, germs can still be on there, right? I particularly like the um, posters where they have the germs on people's hands. I mean, on one hand it seems sort of gross, but on the other hand it really drives home why you need to wash your hands. I think that the people from GP have been enormously generous and open to, to the ideas and the work, and I, I enjoyed them very much. I think it's beautiful. <laughs> it really came together. Um, I love the way my work sort of fills the space, but I also I like the way it you know, has a nice dialogue with the other artists' work. I've been working on the project for a long time, and it's just very rewarding surprising and engaging to see it all, you know, come to fruition. I like the fact that all kinds of hands are represented, even the ones that are really dirty and really grimy. <laughs> kind of gives me hope that, that you know, there's no, there's, there's no hand too dirty to make clean. I loved them all. The exhibits really got the point across. I think it's a wonderful way to, to promote a practice that we know can, you know, prevent the transmission of illness.